Hashtag save the Garys. Hello all, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking into the first name of Gary. Now before we delve into this first name, I just want to remind you all, we are currently attempting to reach $600 a month on Patreon before the end of August. So if you really do enjoy the channel and want to help support it in this way, please do consider just donating $1 a month. We're really on our way, almost at around $550 I believe. So if just 50 of you enjoy the show enough to donate just $1 a month, then we will be there in no time. And if we hit that target, I'll do something. I'll, um, I'll, I'll wear a silly hat. Yeah, I'll wear a silly hat in one of these videos. Send me a link to a silly hat. I'll go buy it and I'll wear it in one of these fun with first name videos. Only if we hit $600 a month for August, of course. Anyway, on with today's name of Gary. And Gary is predominantly a boy's name. And in regards to spelling variations, there's only really one major popular spelling variation I came across. And that's Gary with two R's. This name ultimately derives from an old Germanic word element of a gear, meaning spear. As in like the thing you like, jab people with, that kind of spear. So the name is ultimately seen as meaning spearman, as in like someone with a spear running around with a big old spear. So it's probably like a military name to begin with and this became the name we know it as today. And then from these Germanic origins, it became the Danish name of Gilly and the Old Norse Gaili. Once again, huge apologies if I mispronounced those. I couldn't find the proper pronunciation for those anywhere online. And like we see so often, this name arrived with the Vikings into Great Britain and the English got hold of the name and anglicised it into the name we know today, Gary. And from what I could read online, the name Gary actually wasn't that popular until the actor Gary Cooper came about. He was such a beloved actor that so many people started to name their kids Gary after him. Though what's interesting, he wasn't actually called Gary. Gary was his stage name. He was actually born the name Frank, but took on the name Gary because his agent was from Gary, Indiana. And this city was named Gary because it was named after the founder of U.S. Steel, Albert Henry Gary. So it became a first name due to being a popular fake first name, and it became a fake first name because of someone's surname. And while it was popular in the past, and it's a name many people are still aware of, it's seriously in decline. In the US, it was a 674th most popular name, and in the UK, it was even lower. I couldn't find the exact current numbers for it. And there's been this big hubbub about the name Gary, how it is in decline. It was really popular in the 50s and 60s, but if you just look at graphs of the name popularity, it's just been plummeting since then. And there's actually fears that Gary's might go extinct. Hashtag save the Gary's. Why names go extinct exactly is due to a variety of reasons based on trends, how the name sounds, but in all honesty, I wouldn't actually be too concerned about the name Gary. Names really come and go in trends. At the moment, there's a lot of popularity for like 20s names, so I wouldn't be surprised if Gary came back again with like Pam and Phil and Keith. Huge apologies if those are your names. There's nothing wrong with those names. They're cool names. They're just not popular at the moment. You don't see many baby Garys or baby Keiths. Perhaps the most popular nickname for Gary is of course Gaz or Gaza. Um, this is something of an interesting sort of nickname. It's not exactly just a normal shortening of a nickname that we've seen in the past, but it's like an adaptation, especially with that Z uh, added to the end of it. It's quite Australian sounding Gaza. It's a very popular Australian nickname naming convention. Actually, that's a really good plug idea. I did an interview for Name Talk with an Australian wrestler. And while of course we talk about wrestling names, we talk about Australian nicknames as well. She's actually called Shazza McKenzie herself, which is a quintessential essentially Australian name. Go check it out, it's a really fun talk. And for famous Garys, I have an old and a new Gary, kind of. There's Gary Oldman, famous actor from Harry Potter, uh, Batman, you name it, he's probably been and he's a really terrific actor. I think he finally won his first Oscar. And of course, there's a new Gary, Gary Newman, the famous musician. There's also Gary Lineker too, a retired footballer who's now really into crisps. And of course, there's Gary from Pokemon, who was Ash's first rival. And of course, perhaps most famous of all, we have SpongeBob's pet snail called Gary. And of course, I had to find a wrestler with this name. So for the name Gary, I found a wrestler called Gary Wolf. And he looks pretty cool. He was a former ECW dude, so I'm guessing he's pretty darn tough. But that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Gary. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Gary? Are you called Gary yourself? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, I just want to share some of the comments you guys left about last week's name, Fanny. Fargo Flagrant says, here in France, Fanny is a fairly normal name because probably there isn't a negative connotation in French and Stephanie is super common and popular too. Now, this was really interesting because this is something I actually stumbled across. 
while in the English speaking world we see Fanny as like a rude naughty name that isn't popular anymore, in other parts of the world the name Fanny is used and Fanny doesn't have the connotation it has here in English. So this uh, comment really highlighted that fact there were other comments from other parts of the world with other languages saying how Fanny is a pretty normal name but this is just the one I highlighted so thank you so much for sharing all that information with me. Igerbog de Bargi said, I get the feeling he only chose this name so he could say, let's dive into Fanny and I tried to find some young Fanny. Maybe. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm a sensible person. I didn't definitely pick the name Fanny just so I could say ridiculous things like that on the internet. <laughs> and Sparks632 says, I remember the famous five books where there's a character called Fanny and a character called Dick. Well... I wonder if those two are really into each other. Anyway, next week we'll be looking to a name starting with the letter H. And what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. So if you really do enjoy the channel, want to help support it financially and have a say in what names get explained, then please do consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month earns you all the extra stuff, extra podcasts, extra uh, blog posts, chances to say what names get explained, plus so much more. And it really helps the channel in a huge way like i said at the beginning of this video we're aiming to hit 600 dollars a month by the end of august if we hit that goal i will wear some sort of silly hat in one of these videos who knows what silly hat that will be find a silly hat for me to wear down in the comments below okay anyway guys i think that's just about everything from myself today goodbye and take care